Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer software testing interview question 258. That is, what is stable phase of software? Let me answer. So what is stable phase of the software? Software has to go through several phases while during development or during all while getting released into the market, the software has to go through several phases. There are especially five phases of the software. They are pre-alpha phase, which is the first phase of the software. Then alpha phase, second phase, beta, which is the third phase, release candidate, RC phase, which is the fourth phase. And the final phase of the software is the stable phase. As you can see here, stable phase is one of the phases of the software and is the final phase of the software. Fifth phase and final phase of the software. Here, for the first time, the software is getting released into the market for usage purpose, not for testing purpose, okay? A finalized version of the software will be released into the market, guys, okay? Here, till now, a finalized version of the software is not released for usage purpose of the people or end users or real customers, okay? The software has been released into the market in beta release candidate phase. It's not a real release, okay? It is for beta testing purpose. It has been released for collecting the feedback from the end users and customers and knowing their end user needs and expectation. It was released in the previous phases. But for the first time, for the first time in stable phase, okay, which is the last phase, a finalized version of the software, okay, which has gone through all the earlier phases of the software and which is stable now, uh, which is uh, meeting the user needs and expectations, uh, which, uh, uh, which got uh, corrected based on the feedback received in the beta and release candidate phase, which is kind of stable and uh, is meeting the needs and expectations of the user, will be finally released into the market, okay, to the end users and real customers of the software for their actual usage purpose, not testing purpose, okay? That is stable phase of the software, okay? And we call this release as general availability release, okay? We call this release of the software, which is a finalized version of the software, which can be used by the end users for their real usage as general availability release. There is no going backward after the general availability release. This is the final version of the software released into the market for usage purpose of the end users or customers. Okay, As you already know, in the pre-alpha phase, developers will just start developing the software according to the given requirements and all which is the first phase of software here formal testing has not started and there will not be any release here and in the alpha phase the formal testing will start okay the second phase of the software and the formal testing will start in the alpha phase so not even the testers but also the developers will start testing in the alpha phase only uh, developers will start uh, testing using the unit testing followed by the integration testing then software testers will perform system testing on whole application as an entire application they will be performing system testing and finally user acceptance testing is also performed in alpha phase but only one part of the user acceptance testing that is alpha testing okay there are alpha testing and beta testing part of the user acceptance right but only alpha testing part of the user acceptance testing will be performed by the client side business people okay who actually know the end user needs and expectations well Okay, they interact with the customers or end users and they have the business knowledge. Uh, they will come up with a checklist and will make the developers uh, to modify the software according to the user needs and expectations that these client side business people are believing. Okay, once the features are complete, once the software is uh, developed according to the client given requirements and uh, the checklist given by the client side business people and if there is no other feature to be added, then alpha phase will be completed. Here also the software won't be released into the market, okay? Till now, the software has not been released into the market, either in pre-alpha phase or alpha phase, the software has not released into the market. And in beta phase, for the first time, this third phase of the software, and for the first time, the software will be released into the market, but not for usage purpose of the customers or end users, okay? For testing purpose, for getting this particular software tested in different circumstances, conditions, environments, locations, okay different configurations of the system different operating system whatever it is okay that company cannot actually perform right to get that real feedback from the end users and customers beta okay in beta phase the software will be first time released into the market but not for usage purpose for testing purpose here beta testing will be performed and the company may decide to go with either 
open beta release or closed beta release guys as part of open beta release the software will be released to the entire public for testing purpose whereas in closed beta release only for limited group of uh, end users or customers it will be released and feedback will be collected so once the feedback is incorporated and collected from the end users okay so uh, still the confidence may not be so much good okay so they uh, another round of beta testing need to be performed and that will be performed in the release candidate phase okay here uh, compared to the beta phase the software looks more stable guys okay more stable and uh, most of the end user needs and expectations are actually covered as part of uh, 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 when uh, rc phase starts okay as part of the beta phase once the software is incorporated with all the end users uh, needs and expectations so when confidence rises then they will go with the release candidate phase which is the fourth phase of the software and here also similar to beta phase software will be released to the customers only for testing purpose indirectly collecting the feedback for from them in different situations and conditions and configurations and environments around the globe okay so here also beta testing will be performed again open beta or closed beta release uh, decision will be taken by the company if it is released into comp complete public it is open beta release if it is released to only limited group of uh, end users or customers it is called as closed beta release okay and here there are different names for this release the software that is released uh, into the market for uh, testing purpose or beta testing purpose it has different names of the release that is it, it can be called as rc release or silver silver release or it can be called as gamma release or it can be called as delta release and finally once the feedback is collected okay once the feedback is collected in the rc phase the software this is the final feedback you can say guys the software will be more you know right it becomes more stable more uh, it it will meet the more needs and expectations of the user when such kind of stage reaches okay the ultimate goal of the rc phase is completed and we'll move on to the stable phase okay and once the final version of the software is ready okay uh, this is the final phase of the software fifth phase of the software and uh, here guys uh, this is a final phase uh, final version of the software which uh, has all the client requirements uh, uh, developed and also all the end user needs and expectations which are collected in the beta and rc phase were incorporated into the software properly tested developed and everything which is very stable and uh, meeting the user and needs and expectations and the confidence levels of the uh, company is very very high in such cases the finalized version of the software will be released into the market for the first time for usage purpose to the end users and customer this time not for testing purpose okay it is for they will sell the software into the market okay okay the real software will be released into the market and the name of the release will be general availability release okay the way this finalized version uh, release of the software is called as general availability release so hope guys you understood what is the stable phase of the software now so that's all for this session in the next session i am going to answer another software testing interview question for you till then see you Bye-bye.